How many years was her show on? Mary Tyler Moore show. Eleven. An incredible run in television, and um, she's, they received that whole uh, cast of characters plus Mary received so many awards and Emmys. It is uh, I don't know how many they got to run into several dozen. Would you welcome, please, Mary Tyler Moore? <laughs> You know, I gotta tell you something that I have never told you, I think, public. I did it one day when I was a guest on your show, after the show, which was fun. But your show, along with, I would guess, All in the Family and probably Maud, was one of the best written comedy shows ever on sure television. Was. And the best cast, the best cast of, of regulars I have ever seen. Oh, and it's, that was dynamite. Her. Don't you miss it, really? Oh, I really do, yeah. I miss, I miss the people more than anything, because they were yeah. my best friends. You know, we yeah. spent so much time together. Yeah, yeah I do a, miss it. What a great cast. You know, I admire you for another reason. You could have sat with that show. It was up top on the ratings. Yes. It was cooking. And you made a personal decision, which I think it takes a certain lot of courage. To it say, hey, certainly does. <laughs> no. To say, look, this is working real nice, but it's not stretching uh, it's true. the imagination anymore. And it's, it's, uh, it's becoming tough to come up with something new and fresh all the time. It it's was a, the most difficult decision. Yeah. We, and it really was a group decision that we ever made. And... You know, we so loved what we were doing, yeah. and it was never boring. It was always stimulating. But you, you come to a point where you realize there are other challenges out there right. that uh, we're not meeting, and that's why we decided to end it. There's a lot of masochism in us. I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> we want to suffer. <laughs> are, you, are you driven at all? I mean, now, you, you don't have to work, obviously, if you don't really want right. to creatively. Um, but I don't think I'm driven? any more driven than, um, than any man is about his acting career. Yeah. Um, I've worked and I've not worked, and working is more fun. Right. How long could you have really sat without doing something? Let's say you Not for it. very long. A month or two, and then what Yeah, uh, about uh, two or three months tops. Then yeah. I get very itchy. I mean, you can only play so much tennis. Right. And have lunch with the girls. That's so often. What, that's what bothers me about retirement. People always say they, they work all of their life and say, well, when I get, reach a certain age or whatever it is, you retire. And then you say, retire to, to, to what? Exactly. You can't play forever. You have to really. Everybody envisions being on that island somewhere. If I could just go to this island and sit there and sit in the sun and swim. It would be nice to try it, though. But you can't it? swim for 27 years <laughs> yeah. and lie in the sun. It just doesn't work that way. <laughs> we could give it a good shot. No, I, I, I'm like you. I'd be good for about four weeks, yeah. and I get antsy. Then you'd start putting on a little show in the island. Yeah, you get up and you start doing, and you miss the. Well, it's, entertainers are strange right. people in a way because it's, it's a strange profession. You go out and you appear in front of an audience, and you kind of bear yourself, mm -hmm. and then you ask at the same time for for the, the reaction of the audience sure. to, to like what you do. That's right. So you're putting yourself on the line. It's a wonderful that's... way to work. I mean, because you get back not only the satisfa satisfaction of doing right. a job well, but you get back love and affection. Yeah. And that's terrific. You don't get that in banking, I don't think. You never heard, I've never seen a banker walking in the morning and people go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hi, Harry, good to see you. But you see, when you're on stage or you do a show, you get that immediate, <coughs> immediate feedback. You always seem to be, um, well, the whole image of Mary Tyler Moore is happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, well-adjusted, cool. Sure, uh, sure, sure. <laughs> no, no, no temper, no temper tantrums. Uh -huh, I mean, in the face of disaster, it's just hi. The I think the studio's burning. And, <laughs> you know, you get labeled with that image. Now, True. nothing can be that. I mean, everybody has their little peccadillos. Right. I wear a long coat, so nobody sees my. <laughs> it's a terrible joke, and I'm sorry I did that. It just went right on to the mind snap. Everybody has their little foibles and yes. little faults. Don't you ever just blah. Oh, yeah, a lot. I do. Yeah? Sure, in But you never show it. You're always in no. private. But have you ever seen Grant in a bathing suit? Check Your out husband? those bruises. <laughs> ah, was that the lacerations I saw? Yes, whip marks. What do you do when you really get... Whip, whip, whip marks? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, no, never. What, what do you do when you really get steamed? How, how do you let it all out? What do you do? Scream, uh, yell, get angry, and get it out of your system immediately? I have been known to throw things. I'm never at somebody, but just the, the, the physical act of breaking something That's good. makes There's you feel good. A lot of people buy cheap dishes. Yeah? Real really? cheap dishes, you know, and you set aside. Then when you really get angry. Of course, uh -huh. there's really no fun in breaking it's cheap much dishes more, either. Yeah, it, it, it's yeah. got to be something of value. Yeah. Something that'll make you sad afterwards. Yeah. Is there a psychiatrist in the house? Yeah. <laughs> 
I do that, and I, um, I worry a lot. I fret inside. Mm -hmm. But one thing that's good to get rid of all that uh, tension and anger is um, any kind of physical activity. Now, now are you kind. into the running? Yeah. <laughs> running? For me, it's dancing. Yeah. What do you think of this running craze? Everybody's going bananas around the country of running. It becomes almost a religion with some people. I mean, I know people who used to drink too much, uh, you know, were on the verge <laughs> of divorce. Mm -hmm. um, oh. no, just, just. <laughs> I said, I know some of those people, too. That's right. And they've taken up jogging, and it really has changed their lives. It's amazing. It's tough to... to uh, do you believe To it? drink when you're running. That's right. yeah. I think that's what it is. If every time you want to drink, you go out and run a couple of blocks, you'd have <laughs> half of the country on the road at one time. Uh, have you ever wanted to do anything else besides uh, get up in front of an audience and perform? None I of those kind of a thing? I did want to be a brain surgeon. But... Now, come on now. Really? I really did. No, I really not. Maybe not brain surgery. Maybe Which just dermatology. Were... I don't know. But <laughs> I am interested in medicine. That's very close to brain surgery. <laughs> Your doctor once told me, he said, to be a dermatologist is the best kind of doctor ever to be. He said, well, first of all, your patients never really die, and they never really get well. <laughs> you just go in and say, I've got that rash again, and he goes into those, the little drawer where they send him all the free stuff from the drug companies. Says, Why don't you try some of this? And you don't know what it is. He doesn't know what it is. Little sample bottles. That should do it. Just try that. <laughs> the whole side of the face falls off, and he says, why do you... <laughs> now, I'm going to hear from all the dermatologists tomorrow. I know. But when you probably wanted to be a surgeon, it wasn't considered at that time something that uh, uh, ladies trade, particularly. Uh, especially not uh, ladies who are bad students, too. Were this you really, was just bad a little fancy. really bad students? Yeah, I really was. The only reason I'm able to carry on a conversation with you at all is because I read a lot after I graduated from high school. You just, you just hated it. Yeah, I really did. Did well, you, were you disruptive? Now, most yeah. guys who go into comedy were rather disruptive in class. Mm -hmm. And it always starts the same way with comedians. Mm -hmm. It usually has to do with sound effects. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can make various sound effects which um, that emanate from... Uh, well, I'm going to forget that. Forget that. <laughs> then you find out that, that gets to be funny. Then you start saying funny, making funny sounds and mm -hmm. so forth. But yeah. for a woman, that would probably not be considered... Do you that. have any funny sounds that you remember from your uh, youth? Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> you, you dog. Uh, yeah, I used to do. I, I could drive teachers crazy in class. Now I don't know whether you can hear this or not, but I used to do what you. It was like a chicken, very quietly in the background, but you never had to open your mouth. You would just do this. The teacher was walking by. They would go absolutely bananas. That's now, wonderful. This is not high-class entertainment, believe me, folks. <laughs> but I want to tell you, when you're seven, that's dynamite. It's not dynamite. bad right now. <laughs> that's that's terrific. And you find that gets you off of the hook, and it's a nice defense. Humor is always a good defense when you're in trouble. Oh, yeah. If you can get a laugh and, and kind of wiggle out of it, and I think most guys that I know who are now comedians were not Rhodes Scholars when they were no, in school. Right. Most of them are always putting on. Now, how many awards? I, I talked about awards, and I don't mean to embarrass you. But has that show won altogether? Best show, and with all the people, oh, including gee, yourself, and Ed, and Ted, and Gavin, and all the people who have been on it. I should it know that, incredible. because that's really quite a tribute, isn't it? I'm it not is sure, but it, I think it's like 30 or 40 That's incredible. Awards that's really incredible. Really that's is. really incredible. I want to ask you another question, because I, I would wonder how I feel about this myself. You're well known in, in this country, and I'm sure your show plays many other countries where they, where they dub it. But you and Grant went to China recently. Yes. Where yes. they don't really have any American television shows. No, they don't. And that is an abrupt change for somebody who is well known. I found that out in Europe. You, you think for a while it's going to be wonderful. Yes. And it is because you have an anonymity and you can walk around and you can go shopping and kind of just walk around with a lot of other people and not be bothered sometimes with people. Right. But also, isn't there a little bit of, <clears throat> not insecurity? Yeah, it gets a little lonely toward the end of the stay. Yeah. You find yourself um, looking at somebody and going, <clears throat> uh, <yeah>. Hi. <laughs> and the Chinese person goes, Whoa, what are you, what you doing? Yes. What, what? Because they don't know anything from American television. No. And I kept trying to explain that the kind of performing I do requires writers, scripts, yes. and um, musical material that's prepared and laid out. They didn't understand that. They expected you to get up and either... And just do something wonderful. Could you get up and do a little t time step or something? And say yeah, sure, bars? I did that. And they went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, country and great trouble. 
<laughs> hey, I know, I know you can't stay with us tonight. Cast, the best cast of, of regulars I have ever seen. Okay, and it's, that was dynamite. Don't you miss it, really? Oh, I really do, yeah. I miss, I miss the people more than anything, because they were yeah. my best friends. You know, we yeah. spent so much time together. Yeah, yeah well, I do a, miss it. What a great cast. You know, I admire you for another reason. You could have set with that show. It was up top on the ratings. Yes. It was cooking. And you made a personal decision, which I think it takes a certain amount of courage. To it say, hey, certainly does. <laughs> no, to say, look, this is working real nice, but it's not stretching uh, it's true. the imagination anymore. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's becoming tough to come up with something new and fresh all the time. It's it just, was... How many years was her show on, Mary Tyler Moore show? Eleven. An incredible run in television, and um, she's, they received that whole uh, cast of characters, plus Mary, received so many awards and Emmys, it is, uh, I don't know how many, they got to run into several dozen. Would you welcome, please, Mary Tyler Moore. You know, I got to tell you something that I have never told you, I think, public. I did it one day when I was a guest on your show, after the show, which was fun, but your show, along with, I would guess, All in the Family and probably Maud, was one of the best-written comedy shows ever on television. Sure and the best 